every day. I try to spread the love every single person that I see. Hello, cool mommy Lisa here with yet another fun and wonderful episode to entertain you guys. Oh my goodness, I need a feisty hair dye done. My hair is looking a little shabby here. So today I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a little review. And these people are not asking me to do this review. They're not paying me or anything. But as some of you may know, I am doing a keto diet. Keto. And I actually will be doing another episode probably tomorrow because I won't have time today on my success and etc etc blah 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 about the keto diet now it took me forever to learn how to say that keto I had to actually look it up you know how if you type in Google how do you pronounce a word and then it brings up a man or a woman and it actually sounds out for you how to pronounce a word because I would always be, oh, I do, I follow the, the keto plan or the keto plan. I, for a long time, I called it the keto plan. And that's really wrong. I had, like, I had like a really dark spot there on my lip. Anyway, so keto, you pronounce it keto. That's how they said in this little thing. But... I have been, some of you may follow me on Instagram, some of you may not, or on Facebook, and I am always trying to do different recipes. At first I was doing paleo recipes and I was losing some weight, but then I kind of came to this wall. I was at a plateau where I wasn't losing weight anymore. I was just staying at the same and I was getting frustrated. So I, I have a friend who uses, um, some supplements which I will touch on tomorrow anyway so she I've been doing this keto diet for maybe going on two months now or keto plan I don't like to call it a diet more like a plan and I'm always trying to find recipes for desserts because sometimes I do want something a little sweet or something crunchy and I've had nothing but failures fail nothing but bad luck I can't seem to say that word today Nothing but bad luck when it comes to making chocolate desserts. I've tried a brownie and I posted this on Facebook and Instagram the other day. Maybe not Instagram. It tastes like shit. And I don't know if I'm using the wrong sweetener or if what I'm doing wrong. But, I mean, it had the consistency more like a fudge than it did a brownie. And it just was horrible. And I also made, I tried a few attempts at making... Um, peanut butter cookies I said um again and they were good they taste good but they kept falling apart they would crumble as soon as you pick it and I would let them cool down I would put them in the refrigerator I would for some reason they just were not they weren't they there was nothing to hold them together I don't know what what was wrong but they kept crumbling I would pick one up and it would just fall apart they would taste okay, but I mean, I, I literally had a tub full of just brownie, of, I'm sorry, peanut butter crumbs. And it was just okay. So I gave up on that. And I have a few more recipes. I did try some banana nut muffins this past weekend, and those were really delicious. I mean, I it was supposed to make, I think, about eight large muffins. But I ended up making about 36 small ones because I like doing the smaller sizes better. Because sometimes psychologically, if you have more to eat, you psychologically you, you're thinking, okay, I've already had two, and it kind of you don't need to have the whole muffin. You end up just having like I think two minis equals maybe one fourth of an actual big muffin anyway so i'm always messing around with these desserts trying to find something that i can eat and i came across something on i believe instagram probably had an ad and it is for ice cream i am not a big ice cream fan but once in a while i 
while I do like to indulge in some Rocky Road or what's that stuff called that tastes like coffee? Mocha or almond mocha fudge, I think it's called. And, you know, being on this keto plan, you can't, you're not, you're supposed to stay away from sugars and, you know, unfortunately ice cream is full of sugar so I can't really when my when I take my son to Baskin Robbins I have to not have any so anyway so I bought this ice cream and this is what it looks like the name of it is called wink this specific one is s'mores now I have not tasted I I got four so I got wink s'mores I should make them pay me for this wink lemon cake and this one I did try yesterday wink dark chocolate and wink cake cake batter I can't even see that okay see so let me tell you this is what it says dairy free soy free gluten free egg free nut free sugar free this probably has there's only 25 calories for the for the whole entire carton or pint what the fuck is this what is this one pint yes and it has zero total fat one percent saturated zero trans fat polyunsaturated monosaturated it's all zero percent then you have no cholesterol three percent sodium carbohydrates five grams and that is for every half cup I believe fiber 16% sugar alcohol one gram protein two grams but I mean it's if you want something to indulge in this is I, I mean uh, I'll get to what I feel about these once I taste them so this is, it comes in a big giant box with this on the top. And by giant box, I mean like little tiny mini freezer. They have dry ice inside of it and they keep these little pints of ice cream nice and cold. And I couldn't wait, so I really wanted to try one. And I'm gonna try these in front of my lovely audience here so you could see my reactions when I taste them. And you could decide if, if you're on keto or maybe you're just on a low carb diet because you have diabetes and you wanna watch your sugar. Um, you might wanna check these out or you might not depending on what my reaction is to the taste of these. So I got myself four spoons and you know, I don't know, is it just me? But I don't have any nice silverware. Probably because I always end up dropping them in the in the garbage disposal and I don't realize that they're in there and then I put the garbage disposal on and I fuck them up. So, I got my spoons and I have my desserts. So, I'm going to try the dark chocolate first. So let me open up the sucker. I probably should have opened them first. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like dark chocolate, does it? see and it doesn't have the consistency as you can see I, I I'll get some in my spoon it doesn't have the consistency of it's more like a like an ice like a I don't know some sort of ice or something not even gelato or a sherbet it's just a ice okay so this is a dark chocolate let's see Now, there's a slight aftertaste, and when you first, when it first, the taste buds in my in my mouth first tasted dark chocolate, but then it kind of subsides a little bit, and then you just start, you start getting the sweetness. But I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not here thinking, oh my god, I never want to have, you know, this this totally might curve that craving for curb curve curb the craving for ch ice cream maybe but you just have to get over the aftertaste because it doesn't have 
it's not your regular full of sugar and dairy ice cream. Okay, so that was dark chocolate. So now we're gonna try the cake batter. Let's see if this tastes like real cake batter. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Looks like, I sound like I'm drunk. See? So, the consistency is the same. It's more like an ice. This one seems a little bit more creamy. So. This one's not bad. Actually, this one's good, but like I said, you still get that. You get that aftertaste because they use, I'm not, well, let me see what they use for sugar. So let's read the ingredients. Water, organic agave, um, inulin, which is a prebiotic fiber, pea protein, vegetable glycerin, ground flaxseed, natural flavors, I'm not sure what that means, organic guar gum, organic stevia extract, baking soda, and monk fruit. That's a tongue twister. Monk fruit extract. Okay. So that's pretty much what is in all the, well, the, they have like 15 different flavors. Okay. So I'm going to try this lemon cake, which this is the one I tried yesterday because I love everything lemon. I love lemon. Lemon, lemon, everything is so good. So this is what the lemon looks like. See? Yay! It's a very dark lemon. Consistency is the same as the others. It's kind of almost, I don't know what the consistency is, only a little bit of cardboard with ice cream. I don't get lemon cake from this, but I mean, it's not bad. I mean, if you want something sweet and cold, this will, and you're doing the keto plan or you're low carb or it, paleo, it definitely will take that because you'll, you'll taste it and you'll be like, okay, I don't want any more of that. I'm good. But no, really, it's not that bad. So this one is s'mores. We all love s'mores, right? We go camping, graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolate. This is what it looks like. This is the last one. Hmm. Now, I'm not quite, I don't really get the taste of s'mores in this. I get the taste of like maybe a graham cracker. And again, it's not going to be your typical ice cream. It's going to taste different because it doesn't have your typical sugar. Your white sugar, your processed sugar, it's not going to have, you know, your dairy. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I honestly, I think my least favorite is probably the dark chocolate because it doesn't taste so much like dark chocolate. It's just, you get a little bit of chocolate flavor and that's it. So maybe they'll add actual more chocolate flavor in this for future things, reference. Uh, I think that this cake batter is probably number one for me and then comes the lemon wrong way lemon and then comes the squink s'mores all four and they're only eight dollars a pint and i know that seems like a lot but they do when you go online they do give you one for free so you're actually only paying for three rather than paying for the four and you know if it's if you're doing the sort of plan i am it's great you get that that taste like almost like a I don't know what you would call it an icy or a ice ice fuck I don't know whatever you want to call it ice cream whatever it just doesn't have that same dairy ice cream consistency but it's good it's not bad but check it out it, I mean it it will work for me when I feel like having ice cream I guess I probably won't have a lot I'm just noticing that I'm getting these. I'm not flipping you off. Sorry, I always tend to use this finger. I'm getting little bags right here. See that? Oh my God, you look old. Anyway, so they are, their website is, let me see real quick. What is the website? Uh, WinkFrozenDesserts.com. And... Again, this is the little paper I got with my shipment. Cute little, tiny little guy. 
little guy here on the front. It's not bad. I'm not going to jump up and down and, you know, I mean, because I really would want some fucking ice cream right now. But real ice cream with sugar and, and marshmallows and chocolate and real graham crackers. But that's out of the question for me. So, and, and I don't really miss it at all, but I mean, this, this will have to do. So, if you are on a keto plan and you want to stay in plan and not get kicked out of ketosis, give it a try. Or if you're low carb or you're a diabetic and you need to really cut your sugar, try it. It doesn't try to hurt. It's not bad in my opinion. I'm pretty picky about things. It's not bad. Thanks for watching and hopefully this is an idea for you to check it out and remember thumbs up subscribe and I will have another video up tomorrow talking about keto and my success and symptoms and all that jazz talk to you soon bye